my name is Tim Needles and I'm a teacher here at Smithtown High School East. I've been teaching art and media here for 17 years and I really am passionate about innovation in the classroom. I think it's probably more important today than ever. In my class I really believe in innovating by incorporating new technologies in a meaningful way. This year we experimented with coding and students created their own digital art. We worked on 3D printing projects that actually would renovate the school courtyard. We're collaborating on game design, creating games that would teach younger students the alphabet. Even in my more traditional classes like drawing and painting, we're incorporating digital for the first time, letting students have an opportunity to express themselves with the new technology. And wherever possible, we collaborate, both in the community and globally. For a number of years now, we've collaborated with New York's Japan Society. We participate in a great social media program where we work with students in Japan then later in the year, we actually have student visitors from Japan come and stay with us for two weeks. Konnichiwa. PBS Learning Media has some great tools to prepare the students. Global education makes a huge impact on students. We collaborate with students from different classrooms and different countries around the world each year through a variety of different programs. Recently, we worked with Global Nomads, collaborating with students in Pakistan. And we also did the ATC Challenge, which is creating artist trading cards, small little pieces of art that we traded with students around the world. I also really believe in the power of visuals as an art and media teacher. So as soon as you come in my classroom, you could see what kind of classroom it is. It's a creative space. I've had students work on murals, and we're collaborating with famous artists from the UK on a school mural. Video also makes a huge impact on students. One of my favorite lessons is video poetry. We collaborate with art, literature, creative writing, or foreign language classes, and you could use published work or original poems. We combine photos or video with narration or music, or sometimes all of it, to create our own original video poetry using programs like Adobe Premiere or iPad or smartphone apps like Splice or Canva. And then we share them on social media for National Poetry Month. Here's an example. One of the great things about this lesson is that you could share it on social media to celebrate National Poetry Month in April. It also advocates for technology, literacy, and art. So if you have any questions or comments or just want to share what you made, find me at Tim Needles on social media. I always share student examples so you can find a bunch. Thanks!